How goes it, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Emmett, and as always, please, 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 please do your own research. I am but one talking head amongst a sea of talking heads, and I'm looking at everything from a 30,000 foot view. Before we go any further, I want to take just like another 10 seconds and tell you that this is going to be more of a politically sided video. So if politics is not your thing, or you don't care about politics, or it's just not your bag whatsoever, by all means, feel free to leave. I apologize for wasting your time, but otherwise, I hope you all have a nice day. Now, so far as everybody else that is still here, I'm pretty sure a majority of us has already heard the news. And there is a term that comes to mind, and I do want to thank the late Robin Williams for turning me towards this term. And that term is schadenfreude. I probably butchered that, I apologize, but point still stands, schadenfreude. So, so far as it's being reported today from what I'm tracking is that apparently Kotaku has been told to quote unquote, stick to sports, which is something that I find hilarious because I'm surprised that nobody really took that advice to heart. It was something that was spun out by another um, quote unquote, former uh, journalistic head. This was like years back, but unfortunately it looks like it's come back to bite Kotaku in particular in the ass. And essentially how did the journalists act to being told to do their jobs? Not that is not sports, but just, you know, talk about video games and keep the political crap out of it. They pretty much just acted like children. They acted like children. Oh, you can't tell us what to do, despite the fact that you pay our paychecks. We 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 we, we have a we have a moral we have a moral and a political war to fight, and we're using your platform. You can't tell us not to do what we want to do on the job. And then they proceeded to leave, and they're trying to badmouth their employer on the way out. Which, in my personal mind, is uh, that's not the best way you want to go out. But also, it speaks to the issue of. This is what happens, or rather not the issue, but well, the issue and the forewarning, excuse me, that this is what happens when you don't maintain standards at the workplace. You get a bunch of these idiots that roll through and for years, years, I tell you, just trash the entire workplace, trying to use it as a martyr to get their to get their political and whatever other ideas out. Now, real quick. Am I against people speaking their own mind and doing what they feel like they should do in life? No, by all means, I'm not against that. Everybody's got to have a hobby and everybody is different. Everybody is going to be uh, sipping their own tea, so to speak. The issue that I have, especially in my mind, my old self at this point is you can't use your workspace as your own political tool. Once you're on the job, you're there to do a job. When you hijack it and do and uh, use it for the purposes of trying to further your own sub agenda that does not help the workplace, which I know it sounds like I'm very pro work, but again, they sign the paychecks. You sign the paycheck. I'll do almost anything you tell me to do, but it's not your job. It is not your position and it is not your right as you keep freaking trying to remind everybody, which is blatantly fucking false to hijack that workplace and use it to further your own political agenda and push out propaganda. For a lot of these gaming websites, it's something that I've been seeing, and this is when I left high school, like way back in the freaking day, where there was this massive shift where everybody just wanted to talk about politics and all this, and I was sitting there scratching my head at the time. It's like, I thought this was a game website. I don't want, I, or a game guide website. I came here to watch the game guides, not hear about how the world is ending or about how you feel about how people are just strangling everybody else for for creativity like this this is depressing fast forward to a couple of years figured out what was going on gamergate happened and jesus h christ just trying to study up on that is it, it's it's a freaking headache it's it should be really simple but it's just the reactionary force that took place afterwards but i'm i'm, I'm ranting and i apologize all in all what i'm saying is if you want to start a gaming website, you want to be your own person, be your own outlet, or do any of these things, that's fine. It's your business, it's your right. Don't do it on somebody else's time. Do it on your own time. And for the love of Christ, for anybody else who might kind of sort of be seeing this and thinking, oh, well, it's not gonna to happen to us, right? Five words of advice that will save your ass every time. 
Stay in your fucking lane. It's that simple. Stay in your fucking lane or cut it down the fork. Stay in your lane. It's that simple. If you know damn well, you shouldn't be talking about this. Oh, but it'll generate views. and It'll get really our eyes on the subject. Yeah, in the worst manner fucking possible. I know the phrase is there is I know the phrase is even bad news is technically good news because you're spreading the word out there. No, it's not. We're well past that. You look like a bunch of freaking dummies spreading what you believe is the good gospel, but everybody else, at least the normies, which thank Christ I'm slowly coming one becoming one again, but at least the normies are looking at this as like, bro, this is a Wendy's. What the hell are you on about? <laughs> Jesus H Christ, calm down. <laughs> but I personally th- like I said at the start of this, Schadenfreude. I know I shouldn't be. I'm very much of the mindset that nobody deserves to lose their jobs. But if you can go on for so freaking long, just I don't know how you kept getting the funding. It had to be like so freaking like mismanaged capital or something. But if you can go on for so long, spreading quote unquote this good gospel and pissing off 80% of your audience and just constantly antagonizing them back and forth, back and forth to a point to where they just tune you out. And your main job was to be a gaming website. Like, bro, that's no. You cannot sit there and act like a child. You really cannot. You, you, you don't you have no room to sit there and claim that everybody else is bad. We were technically giving you the opportunity to get paid, and now that the free ride, I'm assuming, is over, all of a sudden you still want to act like you're stuck up with your nose in the air? Like, bro, no, you don't get that. Part of my mind, and I just wa- finished watching a, watching a uh, clownfish video, and he actually brought up a very good idea about it. So, by all means, uh, the, there is a clownfish video floating around out there. I'll be sure to link it in the description below. And it's like it could be the idea that they're trying to prep Kotaku for some kind of sale because hopefully people have heard about the Deadspin incident where Karen essentially tried to label a child as a racist. Wait for it. In the middle of a football game. Now, granted, I am not the biggest fan of footballs. Uh, I am not a sports guy. I am very much a gaming guy. Uh, I'm a gaming and a gun guy. I I really do like firearms. They are very, very fucking neato, my guy. But it doesn't take it doesn't take more than one brain cell to, to, to see that you're in the middle of a football game and the kid is wearing those colors. He posit or at least a neon from Clownfish TV posits that. They're probably prepping Kotaku for a sale, but here's my thing. That could be what they could be doing, but seeing as Kotaku has such a negative like spin on it right now, it's just mired and muddled in muck. Somebody would pretty much just have to buy that at a dirt cheap price and try to flip it. And it's hell right now, apparently trying to run a website because apparently Google AI is starting to become a real thing. And I personally think that AI does need to be regulated because this shit's about to get very ridiculous for what it is and AI has essentially run rampant and it's going to put a lot of people out of work that's not me trying to take a political stance that's just looking at the big picture why would you want to pay what like a hundred workers to do something that an AI can use with that an AI can do with like what maybe 10 active people at a time I think I like I said I personally think it needs to be regulated but back on topic Kotaku has nobody to blame but themselves. These gaming websites, the or not these gaming websites, but these gaming quote unquote journalism websites really don't have anybody to blame but themselves. They fucked up. Everybody was telling them, stop doing this and just go back to staying in your lane, stay in games and do your own job. If you want to make these comments, make a blog post. At the time, it was free to host a blog. It was free to come on YouTube and make your own account. But they didn't want to do that. They wanted to stand on the shoulders of somebody else's success because they thought it would get them a leg up. And in the end, all they really did was just knock it down into the fucking dirt. And they were just screaming at the goddamn worms while everybody else was just trying to just go on about their day. And they're paying the ultimate price for it. So everybody else who's on Twitter, that keeps complaining about, oh, well, this place is evil because they told us to just stick to doing our jobs. I sincerely hope, sincerely hope, sincerely hope you learn a very, very harsh lesson about how people who, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? About just the general normal society, we don't give a fuck about your political opinions. Do your damn job, shut the fuck up, and just carry on with your life. It is that simple, it is that easy, and the same thing could be said for everybody else. But anyway, that's just about my time. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I apologize if this video was a little choppy. I've uh, decided to change things up a little bit, move stuff around the room, and I've also swapped over to a new operating system. Say hello to Linux Mint, uh, mainly because Windows was starting to really bog down my system and these updates that they keep pushing out. It really started like 
uh, what's the word? Slowing my system down. And it was something that I was not happy with. So I'll gladly hop over to the Linux train. And so far, I'm seeing a marketed improvement on all of my shit. Minus, you know, a couple of other games that I can't play. But really, multiplayer games are just meh, kind of sort of out there. And, you know, that's about it. Y'all stay safe. Have a good one. I'm out.